Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have these reusable mop attachments from Kapow. So comes back and seal. Let's go ahead and open them up. I don't really need scissors, but I have them. So these are uh, attachments. Actually, comes with a bag to store them too. Um, attachments that go onto your Swiffer mop, uh, so you can use them as dry or wet mops uh, just to clean up your surfaces. As you know, the the mopping um, pads that come with the Swiffer or the ones you can buy are uh, use and throw, very environmentally unfriendly. Also, you see how these um, uh, threads in the microfiber or the soft cloth, um, they can go into more deeper crevices like the, uh, for example, the grout on this tile uh, versus the, the swipe, um, the softer uh, pads that come in there, they don't really go deep into anything. So these are, and you can just throw them in the dish, I mean, uh, in the washing machine to wash them, uh, super easy to use. So this is the Swiffer right here, as you can see. And all you do is go ahead and put it on, just like a, a let's say a bed sheet or something like that, a fitted sheet. So it's just gonna, it's kind of tight so it doesn't come off easily. But really the elastic band, it just allows you to just prop it on like that. And you can like pull it into uh, different. So yeah, it's on. Took me about 10 seconds to put it on. Another way you can use these is you can just uh, soak them in water and since you get six of them or even a 12 pack you can just kind of run through them as they get dirty and then you can put them back in this pack and throw them directly into the washing machine to wash them. So let's go ahead and use it as a dry attachment first. So this floor I just vacuumed right before starting this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use it as a dry mop. It's sliding on pretty easily. And let's see what it picked up. So that's a very small area. Not much because I did vacuum, but you can still see uh, it picked up some stuff here from the edges. Um, so it's nice that you can even like scrub the edges of your cabinet like that and it's not gonna scratch the cavern because it's a super soft cloth, uh, but it's gonna get the dirt off. So you can see the dirt on the sides here, collected both sides. And it's gonna get into these grab crevices as well because it is a shaggy um, cloth. Okay, now that I've shown you how it works as a dry, I'm gonna use the same one for my uh, wet wipe. So all I'm gonna do is spray some all-purpose spray and just mop it off. So I just have this general all-purpose spray. We're gonna spray some on and I usually like to leave it on for a few seconds just for the all-purpose uh, material to work. And once you have that kind of settled in for a minute, couple of minutes, we can go ahead and just mop. And you can kind of see we're doing a good job of just So as you can see now, this uh, mop is quite dirty, uh, especially as the crevices where it's doing most of the scrubbing work right there. You can see how it's picking up lots of dirty uh, dirt off the floor, much better than I would say uh, uh, just a non-reusable um, paper pad that you usually put on. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mop rest of my kitchen floor and see how it works and you can come along with me while I do that.
So it took me a very short amount of time to mop my kitchen. Uh, I did vacuum ahead of time, so it's pretty clean to begin with, but as you can see, it still picked up quite a lot of debris. It's really good at picking up hair and stuff. As you can see, there's a bunch of hair in here, some bigger debris, and to wash it, all I have to do is throw it in the washing machine with my legs load, and that's it. It's a nice product. I'm happy with it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.